Hello, Steve in Stanley, North Carolina. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm going to have you seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better. And I'm going to show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut the Zeiss Light D. Digital freeform progressive lenses with the Photo Fusion Blue and DuraVision Platinum 4. Your Morgan, Morgenthal Fredericks Louis frame. Louis, Louis. Um, made out of buffalo horn. This is color 945. This is the first time in all of my videos. I've cut nearly, done almost a thousand videos before I've cut any buffalo horn. So you want to see an old pro look nervous? This is what it's going to look like in, in this video. I'm going to have to be extra careful. This is a scary one to have to do. But hey, there's always a first time for everything. He has put dots on the lenses before mailing them to me so I know where to put the height of the progressive. I'm going to go ahead and program this shape into the computer. You are Secret Agent 2457. I am going to carefully whoo, take out the original lenses. One thing I like to do is clean out the inside bevel on the frames before tracing them just to get out any dirt, debris, or anything that can build up uh, from the previous time these were worn. Put the frame into the tracing element in my blocker and hit start. A little stylus is going to pop up. Go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine authentic frame that I sell and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. If you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they are prescription or not. Now, I'm considered out of network for insurance, but you get a full reimbursement on your health savings account flex dollars. That is the shape that I'll be cutting. I'm going to move on to the next screen. I'm going to enter your pupillary distance. If I can pick the card up, which is 31 for the right eye. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the minus button until we go down to 31. I'm going to raise the optical center, the seg height, the position of wear to 24, 24 that I've got here. Let's go ahead and get, take your lens out. It's already been prepped, meaning I've got the dots on there. It tells me where to orient everything. The blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. Your eye is just above that in inset. But at first I need a couple blocks. Or as I like to call them, Jenny from the block. I need to attach two double-sided adhesive stickers to those, of which I've got right here. The black side is the sticky side. Put that one on the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. And actually, before I get going, I want to give a shout out to his 91-year-old dad and buddy and a prayer request for him and his sister for wisdom and compassion as they have to make life-changing decisions for their for their dad we're all getting there i've got an 84 year old mom she's not far behind it's tough um maintaining a a, a work home life <laughs> you know um ratio to make everyone happy it's hard it's tough I'm not the first person to have to go through it, nor will I be the last. So keep me in your prayer requests, too. So just pray for everybody out there. It's that whole thing. If you can be anything in the world, be kind. You never know what someone's going through. So I do want to change the layout screen to progressive from single vision. Get everything lined up the way it should be. Line up the dots. And hang on. Being real anal. Okay. Hit that button, the arm's going to come down place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Pupillary distance for the left eye, 32.5. So I'm going to tap the plus button. Come on. Hit the plus button a couple times until we get a 32.5. Lay everything out. And hit the button, the arm's going to come down, place the block onto the left lens. Now, normally we get a piece of paper, an 8x11 piece of paper from Zeiss telling you exactly what you're receiving. They have not been good on a couple occasions. This is one of them. But at least you're, the lens packets that it comes with, this is the Zeiss Progressive Light D 1.59, which is a refractive index of polycarbonate, photo fusion blue. 
The DP stands for DuraVision Platinum. Of course, it's got the power for the right eye. I'm going to highlight all of that. Minus 150, minus 250 at 97 with a 2 add. The left lens, DuraVision Platinum, minus 1 and a quarter, minus 275 at 84 with a 2 add. And again, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. So, yeah, I joke because there's a lot of sadness out there. Anything in the world that can make somebody smile, hey, do it. So this is the Edger. This is what costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out and buy their own. Put it on your kitchen counter. Then you can cut your own lenses at home. And you won't need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you. But the, the, the cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material till it's the final size. This wheel in the center is going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I'm going to go ahead and wake up the computer job ID number 2457 2457 or as I like to say installment 2457 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America so stay tuned and watch all of them I've got a surprise ending you're not going to want to miss it these are polycarbonate lenses they were plastic Hindex plastic or Trivex I would select that we're going to stay with polycarbon. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it won't be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens. But I am going to put one on the rear concave surface of the lens. Let's go ahead and press this on there firmly. I'm going to place the magnet into the chuck. Or by now, you know I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. 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 Let's pronounce that better. Hit the green start button. I can't even talk today. Hit the green start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens will be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as the ground tracing the shape of the right lens. And the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once, is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel. So you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which will be minimal, if any, in this frame. There is water there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes all down onto the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, meaning that no water sprays onto it during the cutting cycle. Now water will spray onto the lens, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris you may see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses. But your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lens materials. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. In their Oakleys, it also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lenses. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes, unlike lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. Now, I just wanted to point this out. This is job number four. He's already got the first two. This is job number three. These are Oakley safety glasses. This is the 9253 deck cord. He got it with the Blue Protect Anti-Glare with his Zeiss lenses. These are safety glasses. They come with a little ANSI stamp on the side of each lens. Pair number five. He has sent me a pair of Divas. Check these things out. It's a three lens system. He wants me to change the outside lens and there's actually a bluish look on the inside already built in there. We're gonna do the Transitions Extra Active gray lens with the blue flash mirror on the outside of these and that should look pretty cool. Still gonna have a relatively blue look indoors while they're clear. When they go outside, they're gonna have the blue mirror. I am not a Dita dealer, that's why he mailed me his. I'm not a Morgan Morgan, I can, I can pronounce this. Morgenthal Frederick dealer, so he mailed me his. The other two frames, so oh, I can't even think what they are at this point. It's been a long day. I came in on Saturday, February 15th. It's 3.30 to try and get caught up. That work, home life balance. Of course, yesterday was Valentine's Day. I was an extra special suite to my wife, so... I was able to afford the luxury of coming in on a day off to try and get caught up on some things. But I can get this pair made and this pair, both of these mailed off today. That's a nice thing. One less thing to do Monday morning.
just a moment. I'll take that lens out. I'll open the door with my mind and then take the lens out, dry everything off. And let's watch me be nervous. I'm going to dry everything off. Then see what it would be to insert this into what used to be a living, breathing organism. Well, the horn wasn't breathing, but it was attached to something that was. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner. Press in there, and then with working with the frame. No, it does not want to go, so I'm going to take it out. I cannot use heat on buffalo horn. I'm going to have to do the cold mount, so I'm going to take it down a tenth of a millimeter until it's the perfect size. And this buys me a little bit more time. I wanted to read something he said to me. Asked him about what shout outs he wanted to do. He told me about his 90 year old uh, father, buddy, and uh, the prayer request for he and his sister. But he added this in, and this was really touching. This is what gets me through on the days where I come in after working 60, 80 hours a week. I still come in on a Saturday to get caught up. He said, All I want to say to you that you've been an inspiration to me personally. I plan to retire from the corporate world in less than five years. I'm looking for a second career as I want to stay active and engaged in the world. Seeing your enthusiasm, passion, and excellence in the work you do has inspired me to aim higher. And I said back to him, because I'm just now finding my calling. I'm designing some frames for, based on my religion, my faith, as well as some cancer support glasses. I'll be donating glasses to children going through the Duke Pediatric Cancer Ward. And I realize that the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency that there is. Everything you gain in life will rot and fall apart and all that will be left is what was in your heart. And it's true, if you can find your calling. I worked for the corporate world for years before leaving and go out on my own and it's taken me a couple years to, I'm not gonna say find myself, it is to create myself. Life isn't about finding yourself. It's about creating a new life for yourself. One that you're comfortable one with. One that you should have been doing. Well, in my case, I should have been doing all along. Not everyone else. But I'm a slow learner. I, it takes me a while to pick things up. I didn't get a birthmark till I was seven. Okay, so I'm, <laughs> it takes me a while, folks. That's what I'm trying to say. So let me tuck this in at the outside corner. Please, 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 please. Oh, a little bit more. It's almost there. A little bit more. Ooh, no forcing. No forcing. Take it down another tenth of a millimeter. But I learned that uh, the reason why I want to donate kids to the glasses to kids going through cancer treatment is I learned that chemo and radiation affect eyesight. A kid could be 20 20 when starting chemo and radiation and need glasses. Now, they also could already be wearing glasses, but their prescription is going to change when they start treatment. And nobody comes to my hometown of Durham, North Carolina, to Duke Hospital. You know, no one lives here or comes here. They all have to leave their jobs, leave their homes to spend time with their child who is fighting for their life. And there's days that uh, I should say that nobody can kick me when I'm down like I can. But when I think of a child who's been fighting for their life their entire life and what they're going through, whatever pity I can have for myself, it makes me realize, put on your big boy pants, do what's got to be done, and think about someone who's had a hard life. I've, my home is the dream of every homeless person. My job is the dream of everyone not only looking for a job, but other opticians out there working in corporate America who are simply just order takers at these box stores who don't get to cut their own lenses, who don't make them get to make executive decisions, who will never touch a buffalo, buffalo horn frame in their life. They, If someone brings it to them, they're gonna refuse it, saying that they're just not worth the, the chance. I'm not afraid, I'm, I don't like breaking things. It happens about once a year, but this guy's gotten four and now five frames for me it's the least that i can do at least it's just try we're never going to be perfect i don't walk on water but i have learned that all you can do is all you can do and when you try your best things usually just happen for the best so let's go ahead and start cutting the left we're going to flip that over to l press that on there firmly place the magnet into the chuck the charles the chucky baby 
but today I'm calling it the Steve. The door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens is going to be traced by the two white styluses, making sure that it is large enough to fit into the left side of the frame. And you can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the left side. And then measuring the thickness of the lens all over to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Look at that, even with your higher than average astigmatism, or as I like to call it, crazy stigs, you have no edge thickness whatsoever. Great color, blue with beige. You know, that would actually match my shirt really well today. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> Whenever you get tired of this frame, you don't want it anymore. All right, so, but within a year, FYI, for those of you keeping score at home, I'm wearing the Oakley 8149 Pitchman Carbon, Pitchman R Carbon. For one, month, one more year, I'll be wearing other people's frames. After that, I'm only going to wear frames that I design. Fortunately, I'll have that going for me. Now, the dot has come off the lens, so I'm going to come back down here to my progressive identifier. All the Zeiss lenses, all progressive lenses, have a little laser engraving. I'm going to correspond that. It'll tell me where the pupil height is. I'm going to do what's known as final inspection. I'm going to come down here to the lensometer. Spin the axis wheel to 97. Put it in over that black dot. Read the power and I am getting minus 150, exactly halfway between 1 and 2. Minus 150. Now you have six steps of far-sighted correction. That's why there's a minus sign. Minus sign. Your lenses minify down to the correct size. Once everything is the correct size, you have ten steps, two and a half diopters, of astigmatism correction to make everything nice and clear. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike, or the letters P and F. It's the fine tune knob, and we're going to turn that fine tune knob to 97. But that's the second curvature. You have a 150 this way, a 250 this way. And we line it up at the 97th meridian to make everything nice and crisp. Let's check the power of the second lens, the second curve, I should say. Oh, my wife is texting me. Hang on, hang on. Let me just see what she's saying. My laptop came today. What should I tell my mom? Two completely unrelated things. I ordered a laptop to keep at home. So I could do a lot more emails and work from home because even when you work a 15 or 16 hour day there's just not enough time to get everything done so I'm gonna do that and I told her mother that uh, who is a widow that we would take her out for dinner tonight and I think she's just asking what time we're gonna do that I hope she wasn't asking my laptop came so we can give it to my mother-in-law although I would but she does not have internet so the the second curvature on your eye 250 when we read the power we get to we're at four one and a half plus 250 equals four now your left eye you only need five steps of far-sighted correction but you have another two and a 2.3 two and three fourths diopters 2.75 diopters of astigmatism correction we're still going to end up at a minus four total power there now the add you have a two diopter Bifocal strength, progressive strength. So if you were to add these two together, you would actually need a plus 50 reading glasses, but they don't make such a thing. So, of course, you could take your glasses off and see up close, up to, an, up to a point. After that, for about 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you would get eye fatigue because of the lack of astigmatism correction and over-the-counter reading glasses. You could do it if you were like balancing your checkbook and kids today are like, what's a checkbook? So, we're going to tuck this in at the outside corner. Very lightly. Ah, that was good. Pop that in. Everything safe and sound. Dry that off. Add to my sense of accomplishment pile. Let me find it. So, I had to have plastic surgery, meaning that I actually used plastic packaging tape to wrap this up because it was falling apart. So I need to cover up, find a place where there's the shiny plastic and begin to cover all that up. This is one of the things I'm most proud of. This is my sense of accomplishment. A lot of people look at their bank account. Oop, oh, oop, oh, oop, oh, oop. Oh. One jumped off. When people like to look at their bank accounts as a sense of accomplishment, which you can. I like the visual thing daily that gets me through those long days. It just shows me what I'm capable of. 
If you don't push yourself to the limits, you'll never know what limits are possible. And if you're afraid to do it, I listen to a lot of motivational speakers. One of them is David Gawkins, amazing story. But he says, on the other side of fear is something beautiful. And for me to walk away from corporate America, I was making really, really good money. Oh, let's turn the axis wheel to 84. That was scary. Everything looked blurry when I looked in there. Oh, that's better. Straight lines. We're at minus one and a quarter. Let's check your astigmatism correction. And we end up at minus four. So, let's see. Oh, your pupillary distance, 31 for the right eye, 32.5 for the left. When I turn the card around, let's see, what is that? 31 and 32, 63.5. Turn the card around, I'm going to place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens. When we hold it up to the left lens, 63.5. So that is cut perfectly. Let me check the height of the progressive, 24. Down to the middle of the frame, we're getting 24. 24. Now this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And Stanley, North Carolina is in the U.S. But when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. Although being your frames. But just tell them uh, what to do now. I don't believe you can bend this. This is horn material. This is not flexible like plastic. You cannot heat it up. These have a built-in wrap so they will fit around your head. These things either fit or they don't. There's no real adjusting that someone can do for you. But I'm just going to make sure they're in standard alignment. One, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I press down. Three-point stance. Everything's fine. Press down. There is no wobble. Check the tension on each hinge. That is the same. Make sure the temples overlap perfectly, that neither is askew. Now this is what your lenses look like clear before they have been activated, meaning I'm exposing them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Watch this. This is the blue. A blue, a Zeiss photochromic blue lens and a blue frame. This is going to look cool. Now as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for transition lenses to darken a little bit longer when you come back inside. 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15. Now this is important. Everyone pay attention. All photochromic transition lenses will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks or exposed to the sun. After that, they work for years of maximum performance. Look at that. Look at that. Come on now. Don't worry. They'll keep getting darker and darker. We talked about that. Don't you remember? Now, they're also temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone, when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. They also will not work in your car. Your windshield absorbs all the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day. Um, now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken, just not behind a windshield. Do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the bell icon so you can get notifications of future videos and frame and lens combinations as they become available. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses, on Twitter as Free RX Lenses. If you have any questions or comments, like do what Steve did, email me, go to the contact me page of the website. Let me know what you need done, what frames you want them installed into. I'll check on the price and availability and make it happen for you. You can also leave a question in the comment section below. In fact, Steve, feel free to do that. And Steve, when you get these, I send out a selfie request in every package. I would love to have your picture not only on my website, but if you can just tag me using the at sign free prescription lenses, it'll go to my page. The... Look how fast these are turning back. Essilor now has the transition signet generation 8 lenses. They are. Zeiss has had that for a couple years now. Look how fast they turn back to clear. That is amazing. But there was a blue lens in this blue frame. I thought that looked pretty good. Let's, let's hit them one more time. But since they're back to clear now. But Steve, thank you for the fourth purchase. The fifth lenses have been ordered. I'll get the these first ones shipped, the Oakley deck cord with the OSHA ANSI safety stamp. Man, that does look good if I say so myself. That's going to look really nice. I've got the blue in my Oakleys too. But uh, thanks again for your repeat business. Thanks again for following your heart after you retire to do something that's going to leave a lasting impression on the world. 
um, teaching one of the most noble professions that there is. Teach somebody. In fact, I've read a quote this morning from Ben Franklin. Oh, what is it? Um, Tell me something and I listen. Uh, Teach me something and I begin to learn. Involve me with something and I remember. And that's what we do. Get people involved with what you believe strongly in. And there's nothing more noble that you can do with your time on this planet. But thanks again for your purchase. And now hopefully everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.